Welcome back Lords Mobile fans, thank you very much for joining me for my latest KVK video. I was a little bit busy on this KVK but I did manage to get some content so I'm excited to show you and nevertheless. So switching into range gear here, this guy is actually in fury so I'm very much assuming that he's going to be somewhat empty. He's just over the 100 mil mark, I knock him down there down to 100 mil. He didn't actually switch gear on me but he's got 3.4 million troopers. 2.2 million survived in that one. I fill up my beds as well, which is a real treat for Char Char. What a lemon. 1 million of each T1, some T3 at the front there. So going in with another solo. Weirdly enough, this guy just sat here and tried to heal for the second hit as well. So a further almost 1 million losses again. So this guy is getting absolutely brutalized. And rather than running away, he's just taken it like a champion. Fair play to him. And I was being a little bit lazy here. I knew that he only really had range and cav left. So chucking out yet again another range solo and still haven't even healed my bears. I was just pretty sure this guy is going to run away eventually. And still he just sits there and takes it. 1.3 million reds on that one with a 12 million my drop. He has actually sheltered his leader. I think his leader wasn't there for any of those hits. So it's really, really weird. And finally he randomly locates away into the distance. And moving on. Here we actually have the only Griffin pool I did this KVK. I had two Griffins set up and I only did one Griffin pool, but this one's quite special. He was sending 375k marches. Unfortunately, I've been joining a lot of rallies on the Griffin trap, so it's not got a lot of troopers. But this guy is 984 mil. We're going to give him the cheeky Char Char Slim Fast and we are going to see what might I leave him at once we have pulled these troopers home and tried our very best to eat as many marches as we can so he's just sent the seventh now and so with seven armies coming at me i decide to hit the home of buying because i'm thinking by the time my troops have come home and by the time it's ready to random relocate hopefully he will have sent the eighth army and there it is so this guy has got eight marches 375k dragged to their doom not all of them completely got capped, but none of them really won. They only got very little warbacks. I'm only half a Griffin Trap with 1.2 million troopers, but still, it was worth pulling those troops home, randoming away, and causing him all of that damage. You can see they're taking multiple, multiple marches of reds. Got a little cheeky warback on that one and on that one as well, but you can see there, I'm only really getting wounded. I'm getting a crazy amount of points just from one pull. And this guy was 900 million might plus. He is now, so 984 mil. And we're going to see just what we left him out after that cheeky Char Char Slim Frost down to 894. Absolutely brutal. And of course, I wish him all the very best. So it was a bit of a bad matchup for the LEB Kingdom. It was a little bit risky to go into Fury. But I wanted to try this guy due to his kills. And he did actually swap gear on me. I had a few people telling me to cancel in the chat because of the gear, but I saw the gear myself and I decided that a YOLO was probably a good idea. Can he really take the rally with that gear? And the answer is not very well, causing a bloodbath with 5.7 million casualties, 3 million reds, absolutely savage. And what in the world was this guy thinking? All of that T1, not enough of all three types of T2. I'm not sure if he was trying to be some sort of rain trap, but it really didn't work out well for him. All of those T1 at the bottom really causing a problem. Way too much T3 as well, just not a good idea. And of course, he was not up for taking another one. And here we have actually caught a castle level 22 or 23 is 22 in Fury. So it only stays in Fury for 9 minutes I believe. So we're going to carpet this bad boy in. I'm sending it infantry rally. He has take, taken reinforcements but it doesn't look like it is going to matter. We do briefly see that fire burn and there's the gear. Not terrible gear at all. And a 26 million might drop with 2.2 million reds. You can see it's got loads of T2. And you can see that he's got some T3, a little bit of T4 reinforcements up there as well. And I'm wishing him all the very best as we watch this Shiro rally come smacking in, knocking this guy down to 339 mil. This guy was in fury. It was a YOLO. Shiro causing a bloodbath beautifully. And 5 million casualties, 4.6 million reds with very little losses on our side. A really, really brutal hit to say the least. 
And of course, what makes it even more brutal for me on this one, as you can see there, he just pops up the bubble as people are still walking home, as the solos are still coming charging in. And I wish him all the very best there. Moving on, we have another Fury target. We've got Shiro once again, the absolute beast. This guy is 459 mil. He's in Fury, so he's got to take it. I believe the 69 guild have got a rally set on him as well, so he's now got to take two rallies. Shiro comes walking home in victory on his own, causing yet another bloodbath, an incredible hit there. And of course, super excited to have a look at the report. 3.5 million losses, a 65 million might drop. You can see there, he took it in infantry formation and it was a cav rally. So over 1 million T4 reds, over a million T2 reds down there as well, getting absolutely brutalized. And just as I stop recording, I see the 69 guild are walking away in victory, causing a further 2.6 killed and injured troopers with a 52 million might involved in that battle, down to 361 mil, and the nightmare is still continuing for this guy, because Shiro the legend has yet another rally about to march, so this should be brutal. He randomly cates away, doesn't even look what it is. And let's have a look. He gets the leader captured with a 95 million might drop. Really, really savage. That is the previous report there. And there's the report I was looking for. A 93 million might drop. 2.7 million reds leaving zero behind. And it doesn't get much more brutal than that. 2.2 million T4 losses. And of course, by this point, his sanctuary is already full. So none of that is going to get rescued. What a beautiful zero from both Shiro, Size Matters, and all of 69. An absolute legendary zero. And he had a lot of troopers. Really, really incredible. And I wish him all the very best. And talking of massive zeros, this should be, again, he was 600 mil. Didn't quite hit the recorder earlier, but I did get to see us all walking home and we are going to get to see this report. 146 million might drop. He's got 2 million, over 2 million of each T4, just no other troopers, literally just sprinkles of the rest. So a massive bloodbath on the first, we're expecting an awesome hit here. 458 mil, the monster Shiro comes whacking in again and dropping this guy down to 280 mil that is incredible and the solos come in shortly behind so this guy will be zeroed no doubt 159 million might drop with 5.7 million reds over three and a half million t4 reds in one hit alone that is the most brutal report i have seen in a very long time and a big shout out to the main man shiro for that one and what a way to wrap things up. That will indeed be the final bit of action of this KVK video, but I will be grabbing a lot more. I've got some more rallies and stuff to be showing against us in the next video, but I'm just going to be wrapping things up here. So in the Size Matters Kingdom, we did get victory, and it's all SM. Shiro coming in with 198 mil solo score and getting first in the kingdom. A very well done to that main man. Stealing my Size Matters KVK crown once again. Menjay coming in with 98 mil. Foxy up there with a massive score as well. Everyone doing absolutely incredible. Really big shout out to everyone in my glorious Size Matters. And moving on to the LEB results. We actually managed to get victory over Kingdom 3 and Kingdom 15. Very well played from PMC, getting lots of points up there. We managed to get 10th in our Kingdom War. And of course, a massive shout out to Sean and Panic for getting a massive score and everyone in LEB for putting in their very best performance. Still very much a growing guild and thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe and no doubt I'll be seeing you very soon.